All right, here we go. Match start. Go for it, ask All right. Well, the beginning with the CVT and Ethel Brock Station. Now, quick intro to Ethel Brock Station. It's a very tight map with uh, two close quarter VPs and one in open field. So we're gonna see how these players have to pan out and deal with this. This middle one is the open layout. field, or this this uh, top. Yep, that's the one. That's the railway where it's uh, the most open field part of the map, I'd say. And this is where, oh, look at all this cover. This is going to be a very urban fight. Lots of close range. Mm -hmm. Lots of green cover and yellow cover abundance here. So in the 3v3 format in this map, what VP do you think should be taken first? If we go over to the center, which is the plaza, uh, a lot of the control is going to end up in this area. Because this plaza is very crucial in holding the center part of the map. Oh, and here we have our first contact. Very clever positioning of Sturm's here. He's already in green cover, so if the British player tries to push inwards, he's gonna take a lot of automatic fire. So the Sturm Pioneer squad rushed in there. All the other points slowly making their way. Ooh, early UC. Oh, this Sturm Pioneer needs to get out. Oh, well, this fighting is intense. They're really killing each other's models here. No retreats. Oh, but this one lost his entire squad. That was not a fair trade. Oh, that was not a good trade at all. Player DXT losing his infantry section very early on. Base A holding. Here we have Jordi. Taking VP already. A very deep take, I'd say. You think so? Yeah, that's a very deep take already, considering the territories that are panning out. Alright, here I think we're about to see our next big conflict in mid. Presumably, both US players here are prioritizing the plaza. So two players are doing a 2v1 here, essentially. Nice. It's alright if you lose a bunch of models, as long as you don't get completely wiped. Here comes the UC from the other front, doing some far support. Okay, so I think the early game has finally normalized. Yeah, we're seeing uh, stabilization in all sides of the darkness. Interesting build from player GXT, double universal carry. Uh, that's a very risky build. This comes down to control in the end of the day. As long as these things uh, pay for themselves through their kills, it's uh, very worth it. Now we have the US player folding with only one model for each squad. Very impressive. Oh, and he's being backed up by Bane Wolf. Oh, now UC and... Uh, oh, sorry. I mean, DXT and Bane Wolf combining forces to make a big push. This is an excellent synergy of troops. Where one player controls the vehicles and one controls the infantry. Micromanagement is much easier if uh, units are distributed this way. The British As player needs see. to be very careful though with his UCs. He does not have engineers to replace. Oh, and here comes the scout car. Can these UCs take that? If they 2v1 it, they certainly can. But given the health of the scout car, it's on a considerable advantage compared to these two UCs. Excellent AT grenade by those engineers hidden on the corner. Good throw. You think he was unable to see that? Oh yes, he was unable to see that. That was Keep hidden in fog of war. We'll see if we're gonna see if the scout car goes down in a bit. Oh, it's getting close. Scout car. Oh, oh, it goes okay. down. Vehicle what superiority on allies. I think they've got this. Now an intense infantry fight has broken out in this position because of the vehicles concentrating in one side of the road. Oh, infantry favor switches to Axis. Oh, after mid. that big battle, Axis was still able to take mid. Good effort, though. And here we have what is this? Military truck? Where did this come from? A very retro ambulance. <laughs> oh, forgive me, that's not an ambulance. It's a <laughs> military truck. I was about to All ask right. if the ambulance had a machine gun upgrade that I didn't know about. Apparently not. <laughs> Here we have the allies trying to take top. So Jordi probably left it alone once he considered the big fight was happening in mid. Oh, 
lot of vehicle, light vehicle usage on the ally side. Well, the allies need to start using it because with the resource superiority of uh, Axis, light tanks are going to start coming out. So they need to make something work fast. That's true. Here we oh, have a half track. There we go, it's pulling back. Machine gun ambulance pulling back. Wow, Whoa. what a good touch! <laughs> Both Panzer Shreks missing there. Lucky RNG. Oh, third shot! Wow! And a third miss. Who is this driver? Give this guy a promotion, man. That was a good play, though, on the Axis side. Putting Panzer Shreks on a, on a scout vehicle. Make it like a pseudo That's... light pack. Yep. Oh, and here it is. Another miss. Oh, these light vehicles have to be careful of that now. Oh, huge infantry happening. All the fighting is happening in the midpoint, huh? Yup, as I said earlier, the plaza is a very crucial hold. Armies converging. We have now a strong push on one of the railway positions. These axis infantry are getting caught off guard. Oh no, pulling too early in the fight. Oh, he survived. Oh! No, the truck. Ooh. These cavalry riflemen are stuck here. They're probably gonna get picked off. Oh, I, li good I like grenade. the idea though. Oh! Good, good trade. Good trade. He traded good trade. that for the scout car. Not, not bad, considering the damage has already been dealt. A right. massive allied infantry push is taking place in the railway now. Ong's pulled his units for this. The flamethrower will take out the units in the building very quickly. These two universal carriers, with one having a machine gun upgrade and one having a flamethrower. This 322 needs to be careful. That one into a scout car. Okay, good pull. And here we are, the light tanks finally coming out. Although, uh, it's coming from the ally side, whereas Axis is the one who had the gas. I think they're trying to rush a heavier medium tank? Possibly. For Axis, it's much easier for them to pull their fuel for better vehicles. And they opt out to not use much light vehicles, surprisingly. This is a good smoke. It, it stopped this uh, Rakuten Werfer from finishing off the AEC. Yep. Massive convergence of allied units here. I'm not sure if this is a good idea. Well, the scout car knows. Uh, when it's not its fight. Ooh, good hit by that mortar. They've got a forward assembly and ambulances. Oh, the allies are entrenched very deeply here. We're gonna see a lot of action in both the piece here in the north and in the middle. On the Axis side, it doesn't seem like they have much units. Quiet on the other fronts. Seems this VP is completely being ignored as, as of the moment. Another mortar half track. The Soviet no, player no. has a really huge amount of uh, infantry going on. If the Axis don't yep. bring out an anti infantry unit soon, they're gonna have a hard time. Well, this 3 2 is usually uh, designed for that, but he's currently trying to deal with the assault, uh, assault engineer soon. AEC hunting for the. To do. Needs to be careful about this. And the first shot misses. And the mine detonates. Wow, he was baiting that mine, huh? I didn't see that at all. That was an excellent bait. Oh, wow. Solid hit as well by the rocket and record. You see here, try to back up the AEC. Doesn't seem like he needs to. These right. vehicles need to run. Oh, there's gonna be a big push. Another miss! Oh, oh no, it's landed. That. It was a hit. A oh, just gonna exit this fight for a bit. It seems we have a back cap going on here. Oh no, it's, it's been dealt we with We have stormtroopers trying to mess with the supply line. The enemy All right, so here, picking fights with bolts. Not sure if this is a good idea. Apparently they prevail. Excellent pulling on both sides. Let's see what's going on here on top. Alright, we have the Jordi fighting Ong here. 
Good oh, grenade. Holding. Oh, but this half track is going to change the momentum of this fight. This MG42 needs to do an anti armor piercing munition. Apparently, it doesn't need to. It was a good shot on that half track. See, this ambulance or the assembly combination is keeping all these units alive. Even if they get battered, they'll be back to fight. As long as they don't retreat, they would have that position to strong point this uh, assaults. You can see Axis is having a hard time holding on to this position. Vehicles putting pressures on all sides. I'm quite curious where the resources of the Axis are going to. They really aren't making any expensive units as of the moment. Well, they're more focused on prioritizing support units and infantry where since they have majority, map majority, they can just opt to defend rather than uh, That's aggressively true. taking fights. So it's the allies who are under pressure right now. Considering the territory, that's quite sure, yes. Here we have an Axis push. Trying to stop these engineers from decapping the plaza. Seems to be successful. Here we go. They're going to try to push towards the enemy base. Massive infantry push on a blind plant. This is an unguarded plant. First units to response are, are three flamethrower units. Oh, that's not good. The flamethrower is hitting all of them. This push is going to be stopped very fast. They're surrounded on all sides. Oh man, I oh, smell roasted squad. Germans here. One squad down. Box grenadiers. Okay. No unit gets away. That was a big loss. Axis has to get out. They can't lose too many units, or it'll be very difficult to maintain the battle lines that they've set for themselves. Despite the engagement, if we look at the VP, the allies are down to almost half of their VP. So while the allies have a higher kill count, they're really unable to take any of the VP and the points. I guess that's the purpose of the support infantry? Yes, there's a lot of support-based defenses here. And it's very difficult to break through this with given the allies despite their aggressive uh, maneuvers. Oh, is that a sniper shot? Good hit on the machine gunner. You can see the railways constantly being probed, checking how strong the defenses are. With the abundance of infantry in the allies side, they're always uh, trying to probe this position. This is, uh, I like this idea by Ong, where he's not letting up this side, so they can't always, like, pull their army into one area. They always have to be yeah, wary of this half-track. As you've said, like, right now, as you can see, they're provoking other units from different fronts to constantly switch. Nice back. By the command car. Oh, oh, oh another this half -track. good hit. Down. We have white phosphorus bombardments hitting the access side. Oh, this scout car is overextending. Both light vehicles on both sides shredding each other's infantry. It's a bloodbath here in this railway. Wow, these UCs keep dodging for their lives. Excellent control of those universal carriers. Oh man. Here we go, on applying pressure again from the top. Although this FG squad can keep them occupied. Can't push too hard. Oh, and we have another push here by base 8 trying to go for their reinforcement point again, but stopped by the flamethrower units. The enemy are attacking one of our forward positions. It's an excellent idea. There's a soft belly, soft underbelly in this allied position, which is in this side. But first, they need to get rid of those anti-infantry measures. Here we go. I Here think they're going in. It's trying to pick them off. Oh, but we have infantry covering them. In fact, they're getting pincered right now. Oh, this is an overextension. This is a crazy firefight going in mid and top. They've completely ignored bottom. There is like no units here at all. The precariousness of the close proximity is too unappetizing. Here we go, that Panzer headquarters. About to pay for its resources. Very greedy positioning, by the way. 
We're, good. We're gonna have to turn out and see if that can survive the game. Although, uh, the Allies players haven't been building any mortars. There's no way for them to deal with that unless they have a tank coming out. Well, they do have a pack howitzer line. One of the US players are using a pack howitzers as their main artillery source. Howitzers. Let's check the overall resources of each player's currently. Everybody's resource will covering at usually the same values. Here we go, Onk making for another push. Oh, there is no unit to defend against this push should he choose to do so. Yep, but the allies don't know that. The fog of war is completely masking the defenses. They need to send units to probe that position. Here, here you can see the pack howitzers doing a number on the middle position. There we go, the Panzer camp is getting a beating from the howitzers. We need repairs on those right away. We called it a while ago, it's very greedy and now it's big. Unless they match the artillery or start repairing, that's gonna go down soon. Oh, a bulldozer has reached into the game. This is an excellent vehicle for this game. With the heavy payload that these uh, vehicles do, they really punish infantry and support units, as, as we can see. But I think it's overextending, though. Oh, good man. shot! Oh, they traded. That was not a good trade. For the Allies' side. For the German side, they must be very happy with that trade. Yeah, that's a dead bulldozer. The Allies are already lower in the resources, and the loss of a bulldozer is not a good trade. Definitely not. More artillery bombardments are coming in. Combinations of back howitzers and mortar half tracks really doing a number on the in place positions of the German side. Here we have Brave a Brave Pioneer Squad. Oh man, bravery means nothing, I guess. Oh we're oh, well, there's two of them. Oh, that was not a good trade. Well, it wasn't a trade at all. Now all these support units that we ha have on the field on the Axis side are now endangered of artillery fire. These pack howitzers are well defended. There's a huge army that can converge in their position at any time. They're free to pick apart the Axis defenses. Now we see the Axis bringing in IEGs to counter the howitzers. While this railway is still consistently being probed by our US players. What do you feel about the flow of the fight so far? It's a very aggressive game, especially on the Allies side. Given the situation, they have to be, since the territorial control is predominantly German. We'll have to see if they can manage to make a breakthrough or start gaining uh, efficient fights. But in overall efficiency, the Allies team is so far uh, on a slight lead, I'd say. This is the first time in this match that the ally side finally have BP superiority. The tables are turning, so are the BPs. Oh, like finally I said, here. this plaza is still crucial. Now we're having fights break down on the lower BP. Very interesting. Well, it's been left alone for a while. I think both Bumble players... Bumble Soldaten picking fights with Royal Engineers. I'm not sure if it's a good matchup. A wipe on one of the squads. Allies are folding again. Alright, I think we're going to have a few minutes of peace here. Okay, so the fighting has not stopped <laughs> since then. I think both players are going to pull their resources and armies now for a big push. This is a battlefield now. This is where when people are trying to gauge decisions, where, where to attack or where to hold. An MG has been brought up to, sec to, to properly secure this position, whereas a while ago it was undefended. They're finally taking this VP more seriously now. The Axis players have some time to think about what they want to do. Uh, they do have a VP lead, 
they were able to get a lot of gas. We're gonna see what kind of vehicles we're, we're gonna start seeing as we're slowly verging into mid to late game. So among the players, who do you think has been uh, performing very well? I'd like to say the US player in the north, which is uh, our Chan Hong. He's been doing a lot of probing and consistent strikes and un unrelenting pressure in the north. It's keeping the Axis very active with their unit positioning and response. His command card, not liking that building. We have Obersoldat and taking this position now. It's going to be very hard to break this position. There's a uh, three veteran UC. And three veteran. Command. Are we? Were these the ones fighting in the earlier game? Yep. It apparently survived the, the whole battle as, as of yet. I'm not sure about the flamer one, but the MG one seems to be another bulldozer. And here we have the power of these 105s, really wreaking havoc on piles of infantry. A bulldozer is anti-infantry shots, it, it fires in an AoE. Yeah, it does. It's using a 105 howitzer cannon. It's a high yield explosive, so any blob of infantry or support units that are stationary are gonna be in trouble with this. Needs to be careful about this though. The... Good, wise decisions for He's fine, he's fine. The Royal Engineers will help him. Let's check out what's happening here in North. Again, constant pressure by Chan Hong. These He's Soviets. unrelenting pushes on the railway. Good on Jordi though. Despite Ong's overwhelming presence, he has not given up this point. They definitely don't want to, don't want to give up this point. If they give up this point, they could eventually encircle the plaza and that's not good all right both players retreating let's check out bottom again all right all battlefields are side oh what is this a churchill a, a churchill avgrey they're With really going for the anti-infantry tanks here huh yeah this is a good positioning for this type of unit because of the close quarter position of this vp so many blind spots for them to be protected from anti-tank capabilities as well Correct me if I'm wrong, the Avery fires in an arc, right? It does. It's It fires in a forward arc in terms of up, up being optimal. Oh, here we have a Panther medium flying in wait. Alright, this will be interesting because the, the Bulldozer and the Avery are not that great at fighting other tanks. Especially in open field where they're easily seen so that infantry can actually dodge their shots. Very wise positioning in people posture as as it get. Oh we have a red smoke here finally getting rid of this MG. It's been here. This MG needs to escape. There's a US infantry push coming through the road here. Comes a bulldozer coming through. Panzer 4 coming in uncontested. But the 57 anti tank cuts him off. Is this another tank coming? Oh, yes, it is. It's another Panzer IV. Panzer IVs do well when they're uh, in numbers, I'd say. Since one can flank and the other can center. They move fairly fast for the armor and piercing they have as well. Yep. As is their reputation for being an all purpose vehicle. Oh, Jordi finally giving the offensive on Hong this time. Good dodge and grenades there, as well as red smoke. Either side, both infantry groups are res respecting each other here. Not overextending on each other. Perhaps Jordi was trying to snipe out this tank, but he was unable Possibly to push any possible. further. Bulldozer now repositioned to the railway. Here on out, now that the tanks have come out. Uh, this Panzer taking the scenic route. <laughs> oh, good flame bombardments here. Support units are getting a time of it. You need to be careful about the average shot here. 
All of his units are fighting. Great thing about the Avery though, since it is a Churchill, it has a lot of armor. It can take a lot of shots. These are some Chad engineers, man, picking fights with the Obersold out. We have here a, oh, a bombardment, seeing where it lands. Very interesting choice of bombardment. Very, He's yeah. focusing on the back line rather than directly at the units. Maybe to catch uh, the support line or reducing units. Sadly, they didn't land on anyone. We see here the British starting to make a bigger presence in the lower VP. Seems that they're intent on actually taking and holding this. Here we go, another Panzer headquarters about to pay for its greedy positioning. Forward position here between the uh, one of the US players and a red. He's got a medic, he's here. So we have another massive battle between our resident Wehrmacht and the uh, US player. Bloody casualties lost on both sides. The infantry battle is about to conclude here in favor of. Panzer IV was able to make it back out. Good positioning on this Panzer IV. The Sherman can't contest him in a straight up fight. Oh! He's trying to look for him. Possibly, but he needs to be careful. There's anti tank infantry here. Good shot on that infantry group. Forced to pop smoke there to save himself from a second shot. Oh, we have railway artillery being thrown at the Axis side. Saludo should get out of there. Immediately identifying oh, that was a oh, a flame shot. bombardment directly at the reinforcement zone. That was a good bombardment. Oh has to be aware. Oh wait. This is uh Bainwolf's ambulance. Oh he's not aware. I was about to comment on how this position really has withstood the, the entire fight here. Up until now, I guess. <laughs> Alright, quiet fronts. I think both sides are recovering from that massive engagement in the north. Alright, these two panzers are able to survive, so... Hong will be unable to push that point unless he has a tank of his own. No crucial vehicle losses as of yet. As far as the game is going, apart from that bulldozer that was lost in the lower VP. Up and ready to go. Crazy fight so far. Oh, I'm gonna check out what tank has just arrived. A Churchill. Heavy tanks are an excellent choice for given the close quarter positions of the maps. Could you kindly remind me on what the command car's abilities are? Well, they're great at uh, shredding infantry, especially when they reach their veterancy bonuses, as, as we're seeing right now. It's almost f four stars already, as it is. Oh, here, enable lockdown. Mobilizing for increased resource production. We have another massive push coming in the railway again. Eagles on both sides going. Bulldozer is down. Oh, that's a kill, huge kill on the bulldozer. Well, these Panzers need to go out or they're gonna suffer the same fate. Oh no. The pathing of this Panzer IV is being very strange right now. And he doesn't make it back up. One for one, vehicle exchange. We have lost a Panzer. Third order game goes to nobody, apparently. For the top, but allies are... <clears throat> they finally take it mid. Plaza is finally switching control to allies, uh, allies side. RE Sappers reporting in. These Churchill's backing these assault engineers. Oh, we have a Sturm Tiger, Tiger about to run into the Avery. 
very similar units, same capabilities. Their heavy payload shot can really do a number on each other. We're gonna have to see who does the first shot here. Massive payload drop on that MG team. Surprisingly survived. Is he aware? Can you see them? Oh, it's oh, not like they be careful. This time we can shoot. Oh, there we go. Just as you were about to say it. There you go. Flanked by Bane Wolf to take out the support unit. Enemy forces now has 300 points remaining. This approach is masked with the smoke. This, this is going to catch them. We have stormtroopers uh, trying to defend them though. Right now the tank coming in. Massive joint push between both US players here on the north side. You need to be careful, they're not overextending, they're really piling on this push. Red smoke thrown in the Panzer headquarters. Yes, good, great, great choice. Position there. Oh. oh, Tiger here, preventing the tanks from pushing in. Oh, that kick Tiger is definitely gonna dissuade them from this push. Railway RT going to their going to the Panzer camp again. German's trying to gun for the Churchill. Tiger slowly pushing in. King Tiger making its presence known in the battlefield. The squad of infantry. Stuka of bombardments hitting that down on that tank. So far, no big engagements anywhere else. So Axis finally losing the lead they had earlier on. Allies are starting to make a comeback yeah, here. We can see the VP equalizing. This game is getting very interesting. However, the presence of a Tiger uh, is going to change the flow of combat here in the top. Oh, a QP Founder. Good decision making here. This will really start to pile damage in that King Tiger, so if it decides to push. Look at all these units. It's a good thing that the Axis player is unaware, or this would be eating a lot of red smoke. Well, first they need to push towards the position before they can clear any artillery bombardment in that position. Just not an easy defeat given the given the abundance of allied units. In that position. Pushed by the German player. There are tanks everywhere. Now these tanks are specialized for these situations for close quarter. The bulldozer and the Avri can threaten any blob that's trying to go through close pocket positions. So can the Sturm Tiger. Yep, they do have their own It's not like the well. Axis cannot do the same strat. Here we go, here we go. An Avri is coming in. Oh, this rocket then trying to sneak behind. Shot. He does not fire. Very interesting. Oh no, one of the oh. howitzers are in, in range. Oh. Howitzer. Oh! Was this the Avery? Yes, the Avery was lost. Oh, nice flank by the Rocket Werper. He really positioned it here. He was waiting for the Avery to come out. Very good positioning on Axis side. Command car, feeling like a tank. Overextending there, but, but lucky him, none of the AT positions are in line with them. Here we go, the Churchill is going in. Oh, this is a card, yeah. Well, it's a five veterans he scout card now. <laughs> he probably thinks he's unlocked AT capabilities. <laughs> oh, Tiger More took a big German hit time from the founder. In the north. Here we go, the QT Pounder is starting to do work on that King Tiger. They need to think carefully on doing Panzer runs in this position. If I was in their position, uh, I probably would not attempt for this spot anymore unless they find a way to flank it, which is unlikely given the tank presence here. I would move my fight towards this lower area. Possibly. Probably a center wraparound would have been a better choice. 
but that position very strong in the defensive aspect is also backed with the uh, quick response forces so it would definitely not be easy to break through that northern side very interesting so far okay a lot on the battlefield nobody wants to overextend their big units if one side loses all of their attacks at this point, I think it would be over very quickly. Given the situation where it's very uh, VP oriented now, is VPs are ticking down for this time the German side. VP lead going to the allied, play, uh, uh, allied players. The Axis need to make something happen. We're losing a capture point. Is the Tiger repaired yet? King Tiger still only going repairs. Constant bombardments from both sides. DXT pulling a bit of gas on his side. Oh, he's petted on something. Another Avery. Another Avery. Just to be careful he doesn't like this unit. Oh! Still the bombardments on Morgan's side. We have a big US push. They need to be careful though, this this push is not supported by infantry. The QT Pounder also cannot help at that distance. Jordi, really going the max distance. Using smoke good to smoke, cover. Good smoke to cover the advance. He needs to be very careful though, this QT is in position to shoot. No visual range apparently. Yep, the QT cannot see past this point because he no longer has supporting units. King Tiger extending again to this position. Good kill on the howitzer. Needs to be careful though, the, the infantry of the US are ready to fight again. He needs to retreat this units right now. Good retreats on both sides. Excellent kills. Hong trying to fish for a squad wipe, unable to grab one. Very delicate situation they have going here in mid and top. Both territories in north and middle are switching hands way too often. This is becoming a very close match. Here go, Bulldozer trying to sneak another shot. Just the presence of these uh, Stern Tigers and Avrays is enough to threaten or this weird units from pushing. Ooh. Oh, scout car thinking he's a tank again. Missed shot on that via. Oh, massive kill on that machine gun. Brit player really fighting for this VP. 5 star command car. Wow, still beat it. Oh, still and there goes Ents. Oh, a straight B at Getson. Wow, that was very unfortunate. A sad end for our veteran command car. Two bulldozers backing this position now. That is Massive a lot of German infantry tricks. movement going on. Red smoke thrown. You need to be careful. Uh, these bulldozers can do a number on blocked infantry. One bulldozer oh, down. One of them goes down. Excellent kill. Nice retreat. Preventing any wipes there. Good job. Stuka bombardment on the north side. Another tank run on the ally side. Presence of the tiger. We need to be very careful about these German tanks. These are very powerful German tanks. I'm not sure if the Shermans can match them. Good grenade on that uh, King Tiger. Cutting off the retreat of the Panther as well. In very precarious position for those. Not unable to help with this low HP. This tiger needs to back. It's not worth it at the cost of. Uh, wow, beautiful decision making there in the north. Dismounting the, the Sherman, 
tried to save it, but attack round on this Panther player. Vehicle Excellent position on both sides. Panther goes down. Step Tiger finally here. British player still Three. maintaining a presence and in mid. Panther in the center as well. Storm Tiger has a shot available, he can fire one. These smokes are covering these tanks. Panther not having any of it during attack round. Storm Tiger waiting. They need to be very here. careful about this Storm Tiger. Anna is pushing forward despite the presence of the Sturm Tiger. Oh no, the Sturm Tiger here can't fire for 30 more seconds. I do believe this is it for our Axis players. 5 BP taking down and the GT 720. Good game. Good game, very excellent. Good comeback on the Allies side while the Germans really fighting their hardest to defend all the BPs. Coming back from a 50% BP lead was a, a huge comeback. Excellent play on both sides though. There was a lot of good uh, control and decision making on both teams there. What do you believe was the deciding fight in that match? What gave the allies? Because the allies were having a hard time trying to contest the point. And then at some point, uh, they were able to gain VP superiority and maintain it. Well, the the, incons the the consistent attacks on the north was like creating so much pressure True, I agree. on their northern flank. And up to some point, there was a breaking point where the Germans uh, were, weren't able to hold it back anymore. You go with uh, massive damage by Ong as can see in the stats. Yeah. Lot, pretty good score, even distribution in all players. All I players think that was a very well. good fight. All players perform well. Yeah, I'd say so. Alright, that was a that was a good game.